Okay. Okay, guys, look. This is how many perks there are for options on this weapon. This is how we're starting the video, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death and Above. Look at all the perks. That's crazy. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death and Above. Today, we're going to do a God Roll Guide on the Stars in Shadow. This is a legendary energy pulse rifle in Beyond Light, and it is dropping from Crucible Matches. I played four matches. I got two of them. I got two of them from the same match because if you equip the ghost mod that gives you extra legendary drops when you finish a crucible match or win, I think it's on wins. Uh, I got two, two at once. So I was only going to get one and they had that mod on. Very, very good perk. Remember those ghost perks before you do, uh, before you do missions. But anyway, we're going to talk about the stars and shadow pulse rifle. We're going to talk about the perks, the stats, the roles you can get, and I'm going to pick some of my favorites. So if that sounds like fun, let's get to it. But before we do, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, it helps the channel and the video grow, and uh, we're doing good right now. We'll keep it going. So thanks, you guys, for all that. And if you're new, definitely hit the subscribe button. And hey, don't forget that join button if you want to be a member of the channel. It's like a Twitch sub, uh, if you want to. If not, I'll be hanging out. Either way, appreciate you guys watching. Let's get to it. So, Stars and Shadow is a legendary energy pulse rifle. It's a high-impact frame, which means it's slow-firing, high-damage. Uh, it's more accurate when stationary in ADS. More on that in a minute, because I had some stuff that uh, leads me to believe that's a beneficial playstyle for this weapon. So, weapon stats, impact 33, range 66, stability 49, handling 31, reload speed 41, aim assist 28, inventory size 49, zoom 18, recoil 64, bounce intensity 36, it tends right. It tended pretty vertical for me, but I think I had arrowhead break on mine. It has a RPM of 340 and a magazine size of 28. Decent size mag for a slow rate of fire, high impact pulse rifle. It was a two burst, so if you two burst them to the head, they're dead. It's just like the uh, no time to explain, which by the way, feels delightful in PvP. I did do that. There is a curated role with small bore, alloy magazine, outlaw, and thresh. Killing combatants, killing, <laughs> killing combatants with this weapon generates a small amount of super energy. Thresh. Well, it does that anyway. I guess it does more. Okay, cool. Thresh. Uh, interesting. Interesting curated role. But uh, let's get. Well, any stats stand out here to you guys? I, I kind of breezed over the stats real fast. It has a lot of range. Very, very good stat for uh, a slow rate of fire pulse rifle. You play a little bit more conservative with this gun, I would think. I'm, I, I don't really play conservatively in PvP, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's get to the fun part, the meat and potatoes, the perks. Like I said at the beginning of the video, there's a lot here. A lot of new perks, too. I think maybe all of the new perks. Anyway, uh... Let's just get into it. We're going to go over the mag perks, the barrel perks, and then the two perk columns as you can get on this weapon. I was worried about this gun in the beginning because I got two at once and it was kind of fast. It was like, I got that gun pretty quick. Uh, and then I was afraid. I was like, well, this is going to be one of the guns that we get all season. We just keep deleting constantly. But with this many perk combinations, you can get a couple different versions of this gun and you're probably going to have a long time going. That might be why they threw so many perks into it. Uh, but yeah, okay. Uh, arrowhead break that's probably the consensus top perk for this gun because it gives you handling bonuses and recoil bonuses and on pulse rifles i find the arrowhead break is one of my favorite light.gg seems to agree they've instead of uh instead of color coding these perks now they've started adding a community average poll to the bottom to show which perks people think are the best you can kind of see that so i'm going to use that to kind of gauge gauge my uh ideas uh, you're not gonna be able to see it unless i scroll down but i'll let you know but yeah they say arrowhead breaks top top of the heap so far next would be chambered compensator uh corkscrew okay good it was going in order and i was making sure that it wasn't just ranked in order because that was the top perk uh, so you had arrowhead break handling and recoil bonuses chambered compensator is going to give you stability recoil bonuses with a handling penalty and then we have corkscrew rifling give you range Stability and handling bonuses. I like corkscrew rifling if you're going to go an all-arounder on this one. Uh, extended barrel will give you range and recoil bonuses with a handling penalty. That's right, recoil, not recoil. Then we have fluted barrel stability and handling bonuses. Full bore range stability or range bonus stability and handling penalty. We go back to the stats. Range is at 66. I know that's going to mess up the, the video a little bit. Range is at 66. So you can, yeah, you can add 30 to the range and still be all right. I was seeing if any other stats kind of were maxed out. 
recoil you could add 30 to recoil with airhead break and it's still gonna have room to grow so that's good full bore we talked about that one hammer forge just gives you a range bonus polygonal gives you a stability bonus and small war gives you the range and stability bonus um, consensus is arrowhead break is the best I would have to agree with them especially in a pulse rifle I love arrowhead break on a pulse rifle uh, <clears throat> you can't see the bottom perks let me show them to you again since you couldn't see them hammer forged polygonal small bore there you go guys <laughs> Pause the video if you need to to look at the actual stat bonuses, but I read them out too. You should be all right. Uh, Accurized rounds, range bonus, always the best for PvP. They have it listed as the top there as well. Next, they have appended mag for mag size bonus. Yeah, I like small bore, not as much on pulse rifles. I like small bore on auto rifles or small bore. Tactical mag, that's not small bore. I like tactical mag. I was seeing the icon and saying small bore because that's my go-to auto rifle <clears throat> barrel perk. This is my go-to auto rifle mag perk, but on the pulse rifle, tactical mag, not so hot. It's in third place on the list. We got a stability bonus, mag size bonus, and reload speed bonus. It's a good all-arounder, though. If you're going to PvE, PvP weapon, you're going to want arrowhead break and tactical mag, or small bore and tactical mag as your two perk combos, with maybe accurized rounds uh, in there, too. <clears throat> Extended mag, reload speed penalty, mag size bonus. You like that, but you don't like it. Uh, st steady rounds, range, penalty, stability, bonus. Not a big fan. Alloy magazine, faster reloads when the mag is empty. Meh. And then flared mag well uh, increases reload and stability. Eh, you can't see that. I always forget to scroll down so you can see what I'm looking at. So there's flared mag well, alloy magazine. So the perk columns, there's a lot here. We're going to go through each one. I'm going to pick some of my favorites. But so far, if we're going barrel and mag perks, uh, you want to get an arrowhead break, small bore, which is down there at the bottom. I know you can't see it. Arrowhead break small bore is what you want there. And then Accurized Rounds Tactical Mag is what you want there. If you get either one, you're fine. If you get both, you're great. Now, catch your breath. Go through these perks. Threat Detector. Increased reload stability handling when enemies are in close proximity. I wouldn't recommend that for this gun. Genesis. Breaking a shield fills the mag from reserves. It's not an energy weapon, so don't worry about that. Field prep. Increased ammo. Faster ready. Stow and ready. Faster reload stow and ready when crouched. Field prep can go well, but firmly planted is in the same column, so no. Uh, underdog, this weapon gains a boost to reload as your health gets lower. Neat. Firmly planted, increased accuracy, stability, handling, and firing while crouched. I found this was actually a pretty nice perk in PvP for this gun. Don't doubt it. Uh, quick draw weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast. Always a good go-to. Then we have the new perk, Surplus. Increased handling, reload, and stability for each fully charged ability. That's ranked very highly on this gun in uh, in the, the light.gg. Here, I'll scroll down so you can see what I'm looking at now. So we got surplus. Then we've got killing wind, final blows, grant, mobility, weapon range, and handling for short duration. That could be good on this gun with the with the playback mentality. You have feeding frenzy, rapid kill with this weapon, progressively increased reload speed for a short time. I would go for this if you're going on an all-arounder. If you're going PvP, maybe killing wind. Uh, then we do have Outlaw Precision Kills, Greatly Decreased Reload Time. This one, if you don't have Feeding Frenzy, if you can go for the headshots and get them consistently, Outlaw may be better than Feeding Frenzy. Pulse Monitor automatically reloads the mag when the improves weapon handling, when critically wounded, even when this weapon is stowed. Hmm, neat. And then Grave Robber Melee Kills reload the magazine and uh, grants ammo. So, cool perk column. If I was going to pick one, I would go... I always love Feeding Frenzy. It's always good on this one. Firmly Planted felt good in PvP. It may have just been the match that I had. I uh, always like the new perk Surplus. Feels like it does a lot of good. I don't know why that's doing that. Uh, surplus is nice. Killing Wind, Feeding Frenzy. Those are all good perks, depending on what you want to do with this gun. <clears throat> Next, Disruption Break. Breaking a shield with this weapon makes them less vulnerable or makes them more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief period. This is a kinetic weapon, right? No, it's an energy. Oh, well, I'm an idiot. Anyway, disruption break. Yeah, break the shield makes them more vulnerable to kinetic. I guess that wouldn't be on a kinetic weapon. Ah, uh, guys, this is a lot of perks to go through. Uh, Eye of the Storm weapon becomes more accurate and boosts handling as your health gets lower. Kill clip, reloading after kill grants an increased, grants increased damage. Always like it. Snapshot, always like snapshot. I really would enjoy snapshot on this weapon for PvP. Faster time to ADS. Head Seeker, Body Shots Landed, Increased Weapon Precision Damage for a Short Time. I don't like this. <clears throat> Maybe for this gun. I don't know. Let me know if you like Head Seeker. Moving Target, Increased Movement Speed and Target Acquisition when Moving While ADS. Then we have the new one, Thresh. Killing Combatants with this weapon generates a small amount of super energy. I wonder how small and I wonder what the benefit is because this is the one that Light.gg has ranked top. 
So, Thresh, what do you think? Demolitionist kills with this weapon, generate grenade energy, activating your grenade ability, reloads the weapon from reserves. I like Demolitionist, but maybe not on a pulse rifle. Dragonfly. Ooh, Dragonfly. Precision kills create an elemental damage explosion. I wish they would make Dragonfly and Dragonfly spec. Just get rid of Dragonfly spec and make Dragonfly stronger. Uh, that, I feel like, is fair. Uh, then we have Sympathetic Arsenal. Reloading after a final blow also reloads stowed weapons. Vorpal weapon. Increased damage against bosses, vehicles, and guardians with their super active. And dadgummit, if these guardians didn't freeze me during this PvP. This is my first time playing PvP since Stasis has come out in uh, Beyond Light. And I kept getting frozen. And I didn't know what to do. <laughs> it was a good, it was a good strat. Then uh, elemental capacitor, uh, increase stats based on the subclass. It doesn't have anything for stasis subclasses, so I wonder what it's considering stasis. Maybe void. I don't know. It's got to pick something for them though. It can't just not be active. But uh, if you want to scroll, if you want to look at the uh, community poll on Light.gg, I'll go ahead and put these down here. Can't say I disagree with them on this arrowhead. Accurized, Feeding Frenzy, Thresh, that would be a solid weapon. I mean, any combination of these perks right here, very, very solid. If I was picking my favorite, I would go Arrowhead Tactical Mag, maybe? Tactical Mag. I mean, I want to see a bunch of different combinations of these perks right here. I, I feel like this is a good gun and a good perk situation where you can go through and kind of have tons of different stuff. It'd be fun. So let me know what you got, what your drop is, what you're wanting to get on this gun, what you think about it. Let me know in the comments. And if you have any other guns since you waited this long and you watched the whole thing, if you have any guns you want me to take a look at, put it in the comment. I do take suggestions from the community if you want to uh, do that. And if you watched this far, hit that join button if you want to support the channel. It really does help. Uh, and uh, the like button. If all you ever do is click the like button and leave, that really benefits the channel because it helps YouTube recognize that people like it and they want to uh, make the channel grow. So, tool then. Until next time, I'm Death Above, and I'll see you later. See you back.